the struggling San Francisco 49ers made the decision to bench Blaine Gabbert and start Colin Kaepernick at quarterback. The team is 1-4, facing the Buffalo Bills on Sunday, and I'll be watching to see whether Kaepernick, who has become one of the most talked about players in all of the league for his decision to kneel during the national anthem, can resurrect his career under Chip Kelly's offense. Kaepernick's skill set, which includes plus mobility and good arm strength, seem to be perfectly molded for Kelly's scheme. But could years of coaching changes and a general distrust with the front office be too much to overcome? We'll get our first indication on Sunday. The Atlanta Falcons passed their first legitimate test on Sunday when they beat the Broncos in Denver. But their schedule won't let up, as they'll stay out west to face the Seattle Seahawks, who are fresh off of their bye. Can the Falcons, who hold the league's number one scoring offense, put together back-to-back -to -back positive performances against two of the top defenses in the NFL? If so, there should be no doubt that Atlanta should be considered a bona fide contender, especially if their pass rush continues to improve following a six-sack showing against the Broncos. The Dallas Cowboys have looked excellent with rookie quarterback Dak Prescott running the offense. I was at last week's beatdown of the Cincinnati Bengals that pushed Dallas to a 4-1 record. But a big road game against the Green Bay Packers looms in Week 6. I'll also be covering this game, and I'll be watching closely.